You ready, buddy? You ready to go? We are headed out. We got Jax. We got Soph. What's up, Soph? She's chilling in the back. We got Mama and Baby. We are headed on out of here. Go tear it up this weekend. Actually, it's not the weekend. It is actually uh, what is it, Jax? Uh, man, I've been off for two weeks, man. It's like Tuesday. No, it's Monday. Sorry, it's Monday. Monday. It's gonna be nice. My dad's gonna be there. Family. Looking forward to a good, good time. What do you think, boy? camper uh, here's my camper it's a toy hauler dad's is a toy hauler we haul our side-by-sides and toys in dad's got the awning up on the on the deal got the carpet out on our old camper I'll give you a tour later but oh yeah you gave the day the devil sign what was up with that was that devil horns there's Bodie oh our newborn baby boy. So, we're gonna get all unloaded, do some fishing and riding. Yeah. All right, it is the next day. Um, didn't do any recording, it was hotter than balls. We literally sat in the camper uh, all day today and napped. It was nice. Had the old AC on the camper. It was nice and chilly. But now, as you can see, it's doing nothing but pouring. You know what I mean? We got a big old storm that moved over us. Uh, so we're headed home, and I'm going to meet up with y'all home, and uh, we can chat about some things and, and see what's up. Oh, yeah, the old butte. Back her off the old trailer here. Boom! All right, so I think I'm gonna, gonna put you guys about right here. What's up, guys? So. This is what this video is titled about, all about. That's why you guys probably clicked on it. I wanted to put a little vlogging into this video uh, just to kind of show our life and what we do um, on the weekends. Obviously, it's weekday. I'm off because of the baby. I go back in about five days. But uh, I wanted to let you guys know a little bit about why I don't guide waterfowl hunting. Now, the reason why... I'm kind of covering this is because I've got a lot of questions about hey man what do you charge to have you know four three two guys come down blah 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 guided hunt and I've had to respond to a lot of DMs on Instagram as well as here on here on uh, YouTube as to why I don't uh, do guided hunts now to start this off me and Wade as you know Wade from all the hunting 
uh, my best bud, we've done guided hunts over the years. We used to guide off and on a little bit here and there, and it worked out great. Now, the problem is, is when you start having families, the time it takes to scout, you know, ducks and geese and for paying clients so you can get that successful hunt, the amount of time it takes is enormous. So, you know, now I have two kids, we're married, we have this house. So the time it takes for me to be successful in the field with paying clients every week, you know, for, for three or four months straight, whatever it might be, it's astronomical. So I can't, I cannot have that time away from the home to do that. Now, saying that, it's great money, like great, great money to do it. And, and it's something that I love to do. So it's something that I would love to make money doing, but at this time, there is just no way that I can make my family suffer by being away the amount of time that, it, that I would have to be away. But as far as guiding goes, you know, I've had Andrew Flair down twice. He's going to come down a bunch more this coming year. So during those times, it's basically like I'm guiding because like me and my, me and my buddies, we have to drive our asses off and find these, find these birds just like as if we had a paying client because I want our videos to be solid and packed and successful and juicy as hell for you guys. So when those guys come down, when, when all those guys come, the I can't talk now. When all those guys come down, you know, like Andrew does, I have to drive, drive, drive. I think there's a lot of weeks that I'll burn in five days, a work week, I'll burn two tanks of fuel through my Dodge diesel. And, uh, you know, that's not cheap. So can you imagine having paying customers every week having to be gone that much and finding birds so it can be successful and so you don't look stupid and to paying customers so that's just a little bit about why I don't guide but saying that uh, you know as the YouTube channel grows and and we become more successful successful and you guys come in and more of you come in I would I would eventually like to have subscriber hunts where I had you know I a drawing or, or a raffle or something that we do to uh, let you got one of you guys here and there per season come down and hunt but uh, we have to do some growing I have to uh, you know I still have a full-time job that I am dedicated to as well as this family so the time it takes for me to get this stuff up and to make these great hunts happen sometimes it's a miracle I'm not I'm not gonna lie sometimes I have to literally work myself into the dirt to get it done but at the end of the day when it's successful it is successful and that's why i love it i hope you guys loved a little bit of the vlogging a little bit of our camping i know i didn't film much of it it wasn't very exciting it was hot as hell and uh, started storming that's why we came back the next day but um if you guys have any questions about where i'm hunting uh, about coming to hunt in the future you know i there is going to be a time that i would like to do guided hunts when i have that option but with a full-time job i am not able to do that right now so any questions comments about camping anything down below let me know down below follow me on instagram right here right here give me a follow shoot me a dm i always do a subscriber photo little contest where you can dm me your waterfowl bass turkey whatever uh hunting photo as long as it's badass and i'll pick it i'll i will feature you on the instagram page tag you and it is pretty cool but like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs i'm gonna do them every now and then let me know if you like them i'll keep doing them every now and then give me some questions guys it's the summer where we are we are in non-waterfowl season fish catching season which i don't have a lot of time to go do that so Give me some ideas and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.